Photoshop patterns and Illustrator patterns are incompatible. One's a vector format, one's a raster format. Now you can copy between the applications. And I'm just going to show you from Photoshop to Illustrator. Now go to the layer, this is in Photoshop, new fill layer, pattern. Now I've created a document a thousand by a thousand. The reason for that is that the pattern itself, pattern tile is a thousand by a thousand. To make it a bit easier, of course you could resize the, the pattern to actually but it fits in nicely in the center. You don't have to, like I say, have to have the same correct size, but it just makes it a bit easier. So there's one of the patterns. It's a flower design from graphicextras.com, but you can use PAT files you can find on the web to load or ones you've got yourself. You can actually load, replace patterns as you want. So just click OK. Now this pattern, I'm just going to go to flatten image, select all, edit, copy. Now go to Illustrator CS5 and I'm just going to paste. There's the design. Now Live Trace will appear. Now of course I say if you've got earlier versions of Illustrator, so like 10 or whatever, there's no such thing as Live Trace. So this is not so uh, easy. So I'm just going to go to Live Trace and there's various options here. I'm just going to select one at this point. Grayscale and it will just quickly do its various settings. Now that's not too bad but you can actually go to the presets and probably one of the best ones is the uh, detailed illustrate. Right, that option, that's probably the nicest one, De detailed illustration. But you can of course set up your own one, you can change the threshold and all the various options such as blur as well as corner angle etc. Click trace. Now expand. Expanded that, and now if you wish, you can just quickly copy it over into the swatches palette. If you haven't got the swatches palette open, you can go to Window, Swatches, and I can just drag that over. Of course, you can recolor the design, modify it again. You can maybe add a background and all those sort of things. So now the pattern is there. I'm just going to quickly go to create a, just a rectangle. Just going to click on that design. And they are, you see the pattern in here. Simple way of converting between applications.